Hello everyone, Sunny here. I hope you're having a good time. Now I am about 982 subscribers and I feel cool and blessed. And I'm gonna try to say thank you to you guys by creating a little video every day. And since I'm doing a lot of Python, um, I'm just gonna create a bunch of bit-sized videos and they're not going to be in any necessary sequence but they're gonna be a bunch of fun things to do and I don't think anything is gonna be longer than 20 minutes so I'm gonna start with a program that finds out factors of a number and then lets you know if that number is a prime number because if the only factors are like I don't know 11 and 1 then we have a prime number. So we're going to start by taking a user input and perhaps ask a user a question. Yo, yo, give me a number to test. To test. Yeah, that works. And well, we're going to call that input user num. Input. So what you should know is that if we take this input, I'll show you. Uh, print user num. So I have five. This should run. Give me a number to test eight. So it seems to print eight. I'm really. I was expecting it to print 8 with quotation marks, but um, just in case, I'm just going to convert the number to an integer because we can't work with a string. And F5, I really should bring this in. F5, 8. Mm, still seems the same. Nonetheless, it's important to convert the username to an integer because we cannot do calculations with a string. It's like... Alright, so what we want to do next is um, take that number and then go on divided by every number smaller than itself. And every time we get no remainder, so the remainder in Python is, for example, if I go 6 percentage two this remainder is going to be zero because six divided by two is three there's no remainder but if i went six ta percentage four now six divided by four doesn't work but it's one with the remainder of two and you're going to get two so basically when you do that to a number like if we have i don't know 70 percentage five now five is a factor you're going to get remainder zero so every time you take the remainder of you know a number divided by another if that second number is a factor remainder is zero if it's not a factor like 70 percentage six there you go you have a remainder so that's our system we're just going to write a for loop and maybe you're just going to use x for x in range so we're going from one to the number itself which means that we need to go use your plus one yeah plus one okay so we do that, and what do we do? We simply say, if user num percentage x equals, now you gotta use a double equals, because the double equals is actually checking if it is. Equals only assigns. So equals to zero. If it's equal to zero, then that's a factor. Then we can simply print user num. No, print x, sorry, x is a factor. Um, I'm just thinking, is there anything else? No, I think that's that. So instead of just printing user num, here are the factors of, do, 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 do. we can go, Quotations. Here are the factors of. And because that's an int, we need to convert that back to a string in order to concatenate it. So now we can go plus. 
Okay, F5. Invalid syntax! Uh, plus one, because F5. Eight! Man, that was easy. Okay, let's try again. F5. 75. One, three, yeah, it's three times 25, five times 15, or one times 75. That's awesome! Now, how do we convert that into a prime number checker? Let's have a think about it. See, we can do two things. We can either have a way of which we count the number of factors, um, or we can edit this program to start from two and finish at user none. Now, if we want to have dual functionality, we're just going to have to count the number of factors. So, yeah, I guess we're going to, have to create a variable factor count equals the zero. So in the beginning, there are no factors every time we run the number. So we can also increase, iterate factor count, factor count. I really should have made it. <laughs> factor count plus one. Okay. So factro. So now we add uh, factors to the factor count. And if the factor count is going to be zero, and this we're going to add at the very end, if factor count equal equal zero, then print your number is prime, boss. Okay. See how that works. Yeah, give me a number to test. Eleven. Here the. F but print your numbers prime, boss. Oh, factor count needs to be equal to two, because it's the number in itself. So let's try this. Let's try a number that has factors. Hundred. Right. But now, if we tried F five, if we tried eleven. Yeah! Okay! Wow, 7 minutes 50, that was quick. So I'm just going to stop here, and in the next program, I'm going to create a program that lists prime numbers, and I'll have a look at optimizing it. I mean, that's pretty cool because, you know, uh, prime numbers have value. I don't know how large they have to be, but Bitcoin is based on prime numbers, so that's, that's pretty interesting. Radio, so much for today. Have fun.